this tutorial show you how to use the spinner. Let's create a new JavaFX FXML application project. Okay, I'll copy um, package in front of FXML documents. Okay, spinner. Spinner is a um, single line text field. Process integer double or string values so that we can select a value or object from um, all those sequence. It looks like combo box or list view. But it will display only single item on screen. Okay, I'm going to use uh, the button and label. We are looking for spinner. I will use the uh, FreePix SP for spinner. So I will say SP label. I may put one uh, the name for label. Call it as a label. Change the name to be a LPL label. Then uh, I'm adding one text area. Call it as a TA summary. So when I choose the one item out of um, uh, spinner, then then clicking uh, one button will uh, return the value to text area. So I will say uh, handle BTN level action, save it, then make new controller. So we have a previous method called handle button action. We can remove it. We have a new um, method underneath called um, handle button level action. For spinner, we are using um, integer value at this point. Between level 1 to 3. For example, Spino actually use a special um, the model called Value Factory. The class name is Spinner Value Factory. Again, same data type, which is integer. And I will use the initial value 
new spin on factory I'm going to use uh, integer spin on value factory there are only three of them uh, integer double and list spin on value factory so I'm dealing with integers so I will select the integer the beginning and the last value and the initial value So start from number 1 to 5, initial value is number 1. So I will use it as a constant here. So Spino has a value range from 1 to 5. TA summary append text spinner has a one message called get value. It will return an uh, integer value. So we need to do type conversion to string. So I will use a string wrapper class value of maybe I will add a new line so that I can test more than one input so here um, when you click me it says level is 1 or 2 or 3 so the spin actually show you only one item, even though there are five of them. Close it. Uh, I'm going to add another spinner using a uh, string value. So we can use the observer list. So let me make it slightly bigger for anchor pane. 640, double size. And then let me uh, make some space. So again, one label for um, I will call it as a course then uh, another spinner for courses ok now uh, let me label course then uh, I will put um, FXID will be your course for spinner again same story I'll make call it as a SP course I think that's what I'll save it and make new controller or update controller so spin on this time I'm going to use a string value. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to use observer list. Collections and then observer array list. You can list them all if you want to. So English science, for example. Then uh, I need to create another spinner uh, value factory for courses. I will put table called uh, labels. Same syntax, spinner value factory. This time we are going to deal with a string type. New spinner um, value factory, so I need a space. Then a uh, list um, spinner value factory can deal with the string value. Again, uh, string type. Actual parameter we're going to report to observer list. This case, uh, cost list. Okay, and I'm going to add a spinner here. Set value factory, which is going to be SVA cost. Let me copy the same thing. I think that's all. Um, let's try. Hang on, um, I think I need to add um, actual value here. It's because get value. Then I may add a uh, tab in front of SP course. I think that's it. So select the English level one, one in English, that's correct. Different subject, different level. We can continue to do that for two subjects. Now, observer list, you know that um, we can add more items. So let's try that one. Cost list dot add. Or you can use add all, but let me add two subjects. This time you should be able to see up to four subjects. History. Uh, 
I think that's well. Let me fix the small minor minor things here. Um, it actually say one to five. I actually type one to three. So let me change to uh, one to five for levels. Also, um, the constants I somehow put it as a low case, so I will put it as a capitalize following uh, conventions. Then um, there's one name called um, SVF. Let me specify as a label. So will be clear. Let me quickly have a look whether there is any mistake or not. Everything seems okay. Okay, there's a S additional S. Let me remove. Everything seems okay now. Let's try again one more time, then uh, I finish up this lesson. Level 1 for English, level 2 for science, level 3 for math, level 4 for history. Nothing, that's all. Thank you.